What is up everybody? This is Jesse Lee coming at you with another Clavio training video and today we're talking about Clavio tags. And in specific we're talking about how Clavio tags are different than tags in other email services, right? So if you've ever used something like maybe Aweber or any other uh, email service, uh, tags are used slightly different. Um, and some of the naming uh, conventions inside of each platform is gonna be a little different. So that's what I wanna go over in this uh, video. So if you switch to Clavio and you're confused about tags, this video is for you. All right, before we get started, I'm gonna wanna give one shout out to a YouTube user, Lovely Lady. She asked for this video. So if any of you all want videos be, to be produced, just let me know in the comments. I love doing this stuff and I will be more than happy to make that for you. So with that, okay, let's get started. So how are Clavio tags? Well, first of all, what are they for? And how are they different than tags and other email services. Well, basically the crux is this. Tags and other email services are used to mark profiles with specific properties or labels, right? Uh, but this is what Clavio would call segments. So we'll talk about segments in a little bit, um, but what uh, Clavio calls tags, these are used for your organizational purposes, right? So uh, let me go ahead and give you uh, an example. I'll jump into my dummy account here and uh, so as you can see, in, I'm in the flows section here, and I have a bunch of flows. I've made a bunch of demos and stuff, so there are a bunch in here, right? Uh, so maybe um, I, I will label things like with demo, right? Maybe I should make some that are like specifically tagged with demo, so I can see, right? So here's a good example. All right, so for this one, this, this demo flow, I had set this up. And let's say I wanna be able to sift, okay, what are all my actual flows? Again, this is a full dummy account, right? Um, but, uh, what are my actual flows that I'm using live and what are the ones that are not published because they're demo? Well, or maybe not even not published, but, uh, what you would do is you'd pick your flow, come over here to edit details. And, uh, as you can see, I already got a couple tags on here. I've got one for Shopify and SMS. Uh, and then, uh, what you can do here is just come in and add a new tag, right? So I'll say demo so that. Now I can come in and anytime I wanna show people all my demo flows, I can use this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit update, but since I just created this tag, you'll notice here up when we see collect tag or select tags, uh, notice it's not populating. And that's because after you create a tag, you do need to refresh the page, right? So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll refresh the page. And then once we've refreshed, we should see now demo, right? So if I hit the demo uh, tag, as you can see, this um, pops up. Now, why? Uh, what other types of tags might you want to use? Well, I have done a few tags that, that I wanted to show you by example, right? So, um, I have a few forms. I'll go to my form page here. Here's my sign-up page, and I have a form called birthday gift. What What if I want to fire a flow for anybody who comes through birthday gift, right? Well, what I would do is I would actually create a filter, right? And I would filter by this form, right? You grab the ID, and if you need to know how to do this, I can make a video on this. You grab the ID, copy it, go into whatever flow you want. Let's say, um, let's uh, let's see. Let me just uh, go to the birthday flow. Ah, I don't have it set up yet. Okay, this is good. Uh, I'll be able to do this real quick. So let me go to, hmm, let's say this one, right? And I wanna fire this welcome flow on anybody who um, enters in through that form. So what I would come in here, uh, I would come in here to trigger and for some reason it's not working. Dang it, my computer's going so freaking slow. What is the deal? Um, okay, you're gonna have to be patient with me for just a moment. Technical dif difficulties. Okay, there we go, all right. Okay, so filters. Let's say uh, we wanna do this, uh, we, we filter by consent form ID, right? Consent form ID right here and then equals paste that there boom all right so we save that so this welcome flow is going to fire for anybody who comes in through the birthday gift uh form right so uh but i want to actually be able to search that in my flows easily right so that was this flow here so what we would do is uh i would just come in here to edit details and i've already created the tag but i have this form dash birthday gift so i know which form they came from so you can create numerous forms filter them out and then be able to search them right uh and you could also and then so i would hit update flow All right so that should make this appear if i come in here and click form birthday flow as you can see that pops up 
So you can get really creative with, okay, how do you want to segment people? Do you want to segment people based on Shopify checkout? Anybody who's checked out there, right? Well, you can do that. You can say, okay, anybody who's checked out through Shopify, as you can see, this welcome flow fires when anybody comes through Shopify because I filtered it that way. Uh, by the way, the tag is not what does that. The tag uh, You actually have to go into the flow itself and filter. So the tag is merely a labeling system to make things clear for yourself. Uh, and let's say I want to show all of my SMS flows. I created an SMS tag. I haven't labeled all, all of my flows yet, but as you can see, I select my SMS uh, tag and the SMS flow pops up. So, um, so that's basically how tags work. Um, and they're different, again, inside... Um, let me go back to the slide. Tags in Clavio are used for your organizational purposes. Uh, a lot of people think tags are used to segment people, but that's actually something called segments. So I, I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this because it's, it's a different topic, but I just want to make this clear that segments are where you label what people have or have not done. So you can segment people based on if they opened or not, right? So let's create a list. We'll say segment, right? And we're going to say openers. Uh, uh, let's say, let's see, people, oh man, I can't type because I'm dyslexic, who've opened within 30 days. So you want to basically measure back 30 days and see, okay, who has done this particular action? So you can say segment by what someone has or has not done, and we'll say opened email. Come in here able to search this actually opened email at least once in the last 30 days so if I click that now again this is the dummy account so there's not going to be any members in here as you can see there isn't anyone on this list yet but that's how you do this you could also do it by um, you could I mean you could create all sorts of segments you could do it based on what people have purchased so if you got your Shopify store integrated or whatever sort of you know WooCommerce big commerce groove cart uh, let's say um, viewed. Let's see. Let's let's do uh, anybody who's viewed ladies T-shirts. All right. So choose metric viewed product. Add filter. Uh, let's see viewed product. And then ah, this is. Um, Product name. Uh, actually, no, we're going to go to categories. That's what we're doing. Ladies t-shirts. Here we go. All right, so I got ladies t-shirts integrated here. So now I can create the segment and say, okay, anybody who's viewed ladies t-shirts on my site, uh, I want to send those people an email. So when you go create your campaigns or your flows, you can basically, and oh, look, I have two members in my segment. And they're both me. Okay, good. All right. Um, all right, so... Yeah, that's uh, how you use segments. Again, those, what I just show you in segments, those are called tags inside of other things like Aweber or I think, uh, I can't remember if MailChimp uses the same nomenclature. But yeah, you'll find tags used in very, very different ways across all email autoresponders. But this is how uh, segments and tags work inside of Klaviyo. All right, so with that, um, that's just about done. Uh, that, that covers the video. If you have any questions or anything, you can comment in the um in the uh, what are the the comment section is that what that's what that's called the comment section yeah and then if you also want i'm gonna put a free email or e-commerce email marketing guide up uh that you can check out um and then you can also uh so that will be in the description and then for the next video you can click here uh and that will take you to another video based all on segmentation uh, so we'll go into uh, some segment concepts. So uh, yeah, hope all is well and I'll see you all in the next video.